Ever heard of fan addition in custom rooms? If you have been living in Stone Age, then you might ask what is fan addition and in this video, I'm going to answer that and then we will have a look at Banana Duet fan addition too. So fan addition is an unofficial modified and more tweaked version of any custom room which can be modified by a fan or can be done by a maintainer. And currently I'm using Banana Duet fan addition as you can see. Stock kernel of this room is Predator Stormbreaker X4.10 and I changed the kernel to Arise X4.0. Banana gear include customization for status bar, quick settings, gestures and others as you can see. Under status bar, we can get all of the same old customizations such as network traffic indicator, clock and etc. Then under quick settings, there is mostly every customization that you might need. There are some very useful and handy gestures such as power of torch, swipe to screenshot and there is double tap to sleep or wake as well. Some of the pretty good customization is under here like advanced reboot, volume panel styles and some more as you can see. From lock screen we can change anything related to lock screen such as lock screen icons, media art animation, fingerprint and weather. Under themes, we can enable wallpaper based accent color just like Android 12, which is amazing. But I don't like it that much because it changes accent color only. And to be honest, Android 12 looks way better with wallpaper based theming. Other than that, we can change other elements of UI as well, such as dashboard icons, quick setting style, icon shape, and more. You can even change panel outline, brightness slider, signal plus Wi Fi icons, and fonts. This includes settings for some random system things, such as heads up edge lightning, gaming mode, music visualizer and more. Under battery, we can find adaptive percentage and temperature. Percentage stops the charging at a specific value when the battery percent reaches that value and temperature does the same when the temperature reaches the specified value. We can find some useful tweaks under display settings such as home screen styles and from here we can change wallpapers, grid and lock screen clock. By the way, there are tons of clock styles as you can see and you can also find some other useful tweaks as well. Under sound, there is a Mi Sound Enhancer, also known as Direct, and I know that you guys need it. Security settings is not the same as stock Android. Here we can find some extra tweaks such as Scramble Layout, Quick Unlock, Face Unlock, and App Lock. And Stock Launcher is Banana Home, which looks like a modified version of Shady Launcher. And some of the things is from different launchers, plus you can hide or lock apps from here as well. Wide one is L1 which means that you can enjoy HD content on Netflix and Amazon Prime Video and safety net is passed by default you just need to enable magic hide but this won't work anymore. CPU throttling test provides pretty good results with Arise X 4.0 kernel and the threads was at 16 and sadly Geekbench crashed while testing. If you are facing such crashes then don't worry your device app won't crash if you press that subscribe button right now. Okay! Oh. And the battle continues! Here we go! Three hours later. No, 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 no. I'm joking! No! Run! Ah! Ah! Stop! I'm the break! Stop! 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 Hey y'all come look at this! <laughs> so gameplay with screen recording works fine and frame drops is very low while playing. Plus I recorded gameplay at 1080p 60fps and as you can see I landed on a hot drop. The lag was not that major when compared to Arkane OS Jinx which I reviewed recently. Playing games with or without screen recording won't be a problem with Ayla Droid. So you can enjoy games without any major frame drops. 
system UI was crashing most of the time and RAM management is worst. Most probably it happened because ZRAM was disabled and after enabling it device ran quite good with occasional crashes but RAM management was a problem. System UI crashing and bad RAM management is a very big concern for any custom room. I also faced some UI lags after using it for some days. Despite facing system UI crashes, there were no issues with any of the features and everything was working fine whether it is Bluetooth, Hotspot, Cast or anything else. After using this ROM for some days, it will get worse. Even after enabling ZRAM, device will start to lag and system UI will crash eventually, which happens rarely but only if you enable ZRAM. Otherwise, this ROM would have been a nightmare for me and users who aren't aware of ZRAM. So in the end, I won't recommend Kayla Duet because of the issues that I told you. RAM management is worst, only one app can be in RAM and system UI crashing most of the time which makes the user experience even worse and surely this room isn't good for multitasking either. Having a lot of customization is a good thing and every feature works fine but can a device handle banana duet? Most probably 4GB users can enjoy it but I'm not sure. Let me know by commenting if you used it. You can also watch some of my other videos like this review on XDuet or video on Fclip. And that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.